sound into world. Varam. 146. Listen, no, listen this way. The too much of sky is like a tool that tightens nature's energy. Its sound is like an ache. Nature's sights and sounds are too. They have tuti. They whoosh and jitter and awe. But then mountain, assertive, aggressive, breathes up as high as sky, and sky made nervous merely smiles quietly on ground. Tree interceding creates home for all sorts of beings, and sky, calmed of anxiety, rests. Think of all things, or think of nothing at all. Rain resembles poetry, or satori. Rain wants to blur everything that resembles negative thought. But negative thought propels itself. It wants to escape. Can we escape too? Can we clarify thought by running to a new location that will enlighten us? Road blurs thought too. We have to be humble and return to sky for advice. Correction, advice from the clear things under sky, the things that exist even when sky is gone.